Welcome to Cebu Expat by Matt Wilkie, discussing expat life in the Philippines. Getting a cheap flight to the Philippines. Um, there's several things I do because I've had flights as cheap as four hundred and fifty pounds to the Philippines before. Um, the most expensive one I've paid so far is probably close to seven hundred pounds, where I didn't really have flexibility in the times. First thing is start looking early. Um, if you're booking five weeks before, you can get some good rates, but you just have to look around. Um, look for the routes as well, because the routes make a difference. Also, there's promotions. You know, for example, if you're going um, from UK to Hong Kong, uh, you find Cathay Pacific likes to have promotions, because obviously they're a Chinese airline trying to uh, bring business into going to Hong Kong with holiday makers so you might find that that flight is X amount then just get a local flight from Hong Kong to the Philippines which is about two and a half hour flight um, that can work out cheaper um, the other side of this being that getting to the last couple of weeks just keep reviewing the prices um, I think you need a 12 hour window now uh, because of security so you've got to have a minimum of 12 hours before you book a flight I'm not sure if that's the same on international I know it's within Europe it is um, but with that I normally look for the last two weeks watch the price going up and down up and down and then just grab it um, when the flight comes in at about 550 because otherwise you find the flights go oh it's a thousand pounds and it's like no it's not if you do these bits where you look early look late like you know get the the last minutes get the bookings and months in advance you'll find you get a better deal flights are generally done on number of seats that are available and the prices are just you'll see it on uh, if you go into Spain for example you will see the flight prices adjust by the numbers of seats because you can actually see on the the uh, local couriers the number of seats are available and the prices actually change as the availability changes um, so this is why depending on when you're flying you could find that the flight price could go up or down um, also the time of year when you go you find the Philippines can be quite difficult to get to at the end of the year because everyone goes home for Christmas but you can find outside the school holidays at certain months of the year it's reasonably priced uh, flying in January can be reasonably priced um, that's why I say if you're going to the Philippines look at the price structure also look where you're going in the Philippines and work out if the weather's going to bother you um, the wet season in Cebu for example is it's not fantastic uh, when you've got a foot of water uh, in the streets and you got open sewers and everything washing in with all that rainwater um, which is why I normally travel by car or motorbike because um, generally I try not to touch the ground when I'm <laughs> when it's wet um, but look for these different things even if you're not going this year look at the prices even if you take five minutes every uh, month or so just look when you think you're going to be flying and compare the prices you might find that you go two weeks later because it falls into a religious holiday or something else the price could go up or down and weighing all those things up you could find that you'll save money uh, simply by the, by timing your flight within a, a two-week difference going a little bit later or a little bit earlier uh, may make it a bit cheaper for you um, I know with even going to Spain uh, the prices vary from £60 one way to 300 depending on when I fly um, and it's the same with international but like I said always look for the uh, the bonuses going on the discounts the uh, the tourism stuff because they like to get people to go there um, like I say Cathay Pacific I use a lot um, they, they do their promotions to Hong Kong but you'll find Pacific Airlines do their promo promo for Manila um, though personally I do not like PAL um, I don't like the food 
I don't like their attitude towards customers. I don't like the the way they locked the international terminal. Um, when I've come in on a local flight and picking up that international flight in three and a half hours, um, where they locked the international terminal until they decided to open it, which basically meant if you were a normal commuter, which hundreds of people were, they were all sat outside um, in the hot uh, tropical heat during the, during the night. Uh, the only food available was the Jollibee restaurant. It's naff. Um, you, you better find my YouTube video on it anyway when I was there. But I will never fly, fly PAL again because of the quality of service. Put customer last is the only way I could put them. Um, but yeah. Um, but they do primaries between London and Manila. So let me know what you think. And if you're flying from other countries, let me know which airlines you use. But personally, I like Cathay Pacific. Um, followed by Qatar Airways. Now, the reason I use Qatar is they have a flight that used to go from uh, London to Qatar, Qatar to um, Cebu. They cancelled that flight due to some of the tax issues they were having with the local airport. Um, so that flight is now gone, which is why I'm predominantly always Cathay Pacific. Alright, thanks for watching.